we are opening a brand new bark box that just came in the mail the other day and Quinn just woke up from a nap so hopefully she's still as excitable but this is yep yawn yawn we're not that excited bark box is here so we're gonna open it up see what kind of goodies we got this month whoa 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 something smells good you know the routine right now you've gotten so many of these all right so here's a little preview of everything that's in the box and now it's our turn so what do we have we have a butcher's block pet treat bully chew these things are awesome half the time i think what do you think it's wrapped in plastic we'll find out but i think she's pretty psyched about it yes 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 okay okay we'll bring that back up later hey cool your jets we'll get to it the people need to see all right what else do we have we have a little mardi gras themed dog toy a little mask does it squeak <gasps> oh! mardi gras. Quinn. the people need to see the toy come on if you can see it it's a little tub toy that has a little Mardi Gras mask on it. It's furry on the back. I don't understand that. But we can play tug of war, right? If you would ever understand how that game works. Tug of war. All right, there's that. We'll come back to it. Oh, so it's Mardi Gras themed. Okay, I'm getting it now. Then we have a Jester Ball dog toy. <gasps> so many squeaks. Quinn. It's just a little bouncy crazy looking guy that's got like little nubs on the inside. It feels like those really old um, Adidas sandals that had the little nubs that were sticking out from under them that kids wore in the, you know, 90s and whatnot when I was in school. So that's underneath this plush little fabric with crinkles. You want to kill this. I know, it's going to get good. Hold on. Got to get to the rest. All right, next we have Jambalaya Dog Treats. These are free of wheat, corn, soy, salt, sugar, additives, preservatives, calories, and artificial flavorings. Awesome. Uh, they're made from a mixture of chicken liver and pork liver. And there's shrimp in here, too. I guess you can't really call it a Mardi Gras treat without putting some sort of shrimp in there, given the origins. Let's see. What do we think of these? I mean, they smell like your typical dog treats. They don't smell like super spicy jambalaya. What do we think? Sniff it. Make a decision before you eat. What do we think? They're super crunchy. They're like little broken up graham crackers almost. In a bunch of little pieces. So I think Quinn approves, which is exciting. And last but not least, what do we have? Le Petit Treat. It's a little king cake. Cute little bark box king cake. Um, it's made out of peanut butter. It's gluten free and all natural. So we have, oh, it's not actually a king cake. It's a king cake themed little like almost dog treat, shortbread, peanut butter heart kind of treat. We had some peanut butter yesterday, didn't we? Do we need more? Yes, we need more. Yes, please mommy. What do we got? Oh. Oh, again, super crunchy. No chewy treats in this one except for the bully stick. Taking her time. Whoa, that's a really loud treat. But once again, all natural and fun goodness with a Mardi Gras theme for Pup. So this is a really awesome box. And it has a theme. I don't know that last month's had a theme. Was it Valentine's Day? I don't know. Maybe it was just that if you loved your pet, you got them a bark box. So happy Valentine's Day, pet. Or rather, happy New Year, pet. So there we are. If you think about ever getting a bark box for your own pooch, definitely, definitely watch some of our other videos to see what kind of treats you can get in them. They're super varied. There's always a toy. I know we got a toy in a bark box from a couple months ago that she still hasn't been able to destroy, which is pretty awesome, considering a lot of the ones we get at your standard pet stores are dead within about two days. So kudos to BarkBox on that for curating some really awesome stuff. 
and we will see you next time. So hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Um, and we will most likely be back with another bark box in the future. What do you say, Gwen? Want to sign off? No? Oh, sign off. Yeah! See you guys. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook.com slash Full Court Nerd or on Twitter at Full Court Nerd.